Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina, and today I have three plus products for review. The first is going to be another shaving cream from Elvato. I've used these products before, really, really like the performance, a very nice focus on organic ingredients. Um, this is the Pacific Coast Kahuna, and the scent on this is kind of a light, crisp, bit of a seaside scent. And uh, the scent mixture is citrus, lavender, uh, sea moss, wild mint, and coastal driftwood. I think I got all five right there. And what I what I smell there primarily is uh, the sea moss note with an undertone of sort of the citrus and the mint. The wood, I don't really get the coastal driftwood in there, but and the, or the lavender so much, but those other three scents really do come together. And as you can see, it looks like a soft cream, but it's really not. It's actually a little bit, uh, a little bit sticky and tacky. You can easily push your finger into it. So yes, it is much more on the cream side than it is on the curl or the hard soap. Today's brush for that soap, oh, I need to take the lid off that again or there's gonna be no way to lather it with this brush, which I hope you can see this is from Carnivus and Richardson. This was a prize that I won on a giveaway on Reddit. So this is one of their um, aluminum handles. These are now available through Maggard Razors uh, in some limited quantities, or you can follow them on Instagram, I believe, and purchase um, brushes through them there. They offer a variety of knots. This, uh, for the giveaway, happened to be one of the tuxedo knots, which is a very soft-tipped uh, knot, but has quite a bit of sort of springy backbone. We'll talk about that a bit during the actual, uh, during the lathering process. Today's razor is going to be another vintage Gillette on loan to me. It is a 1929-1931 big boy, big fellow uh, mix. It's a little bit hard to figure out exactly which one this is, but I believe this is um, the big boy hybrid because Gillette could have made this even more confusing. This to me shaves quite a bit like the new Improve, but has a head that looks like the new Long. So it's a three-piece razor, although it's kind of hard to put together in a sense because it's not the usual three pieces. Here's the top cap, which as you can see has a bar in it. Here is the base plate and handle. And then the third piece is the, uh, the, the screw, which threads into the, uh, into the handle. So let me go ahead and get the razor assembled. We'll do that piece by piece. So I'm gonna put this super iridium blade in there. Uh, as you can see, there is a center post Right, there's that bar which holds the blade in place and then each corner has those small tabs to fix the uh, the blade in place. So then what you do is you simply put top cap onto the razor like that and just hold it. And then take this piece and just insert it and screw it on to tighten the cap. Very simple. I, you know, this, this is definitely an old, you can see a lot of sort of wear and tear. There's a very minor crack at the top of the top of the handle there, but otherwise a very cool looking patina and just you know I just I love the look of the razor shave wise not 100% great for me a little less overhang than you might expect but there is still really a you know there's a good piece sticking out there um, no issue with blade alignment um, open comb razor so let's get my face wet let's go ahead and get lathering so what I've done um, what I normally would do is I would scoop out some of that cream into the lathering bowl, but I've decided this time, nope, I'm just going to go for it all the way. I'm just gonna lather inside the container for once, break with tradition. So just wet the brush through, it's a synthetic, no need to soak it, but the nice thing about the handle is it is aluminum, so when you put that in the warm sink, water handle warms up, also nice. I'm shaking out most of the water, um, and then I'm gonna just start working it. And because the brush is kind of springy and doesn't splay, what you see happening, whoa, 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 way too much there. And see, that's what happened last time too, is that I just pressed it in there, not really paying attention. The soap is really soft if you push the brush into there, so you don't need much. I'm gonna stick with that. That may be too much. You can see what's happening there. Because the brush is uh, kind of dense and springy, it doesn't splay open easily. So when you're going sort of into the, uh, into the container, you just gotta be careful there. All right, if that's not enough soap, I'll just add more. So let's see what we get here. I've wet the uh, tips a little bit. This is a pretty concentrated soap, by the way, so you really don't need much. So 
So, and I'm pressing pretty good on this brush here to get it displayed. These tuxedo knots do not splay easily, so if that's one of the things that you like in a brush, is a very easy open splay, um, then I would choose something other than the tuxedo. If you want a bit of sort of springy backbone, this is a great brush. Not really works out quite well for that. A little more water. Yeah, I definitely got a lot on there. Second time I've done that too, just youthful enthusiasm. Elvada also makes the same cream in the uh, in the dispensable container, sort of the, the pump dispenser, which I think is a great, really a great presentation actually. Very easy for travel, very easy to get the right amount out, and basically no mess. Yeah, it lathers up very easily, very good face feel. I think the soap has, yeah, it's avocado and shea butter. It's a, a vegan soap, obviously. There we go, I'm gonna put just a touch more water in there. Yeah, beautiful lather. The scent on the soap is not strong. Um, it's a mild scent. It's kind of interesting because, you know, there's a branch of uh, shave of uh, soap manufacturers that are branching out into um, eau de toilette and perfumes. And I think those soaps themselves are obviously quite strongly scented as well. So that's one branch of the uh, of the market going that way. And then you have others that I think are sticking to slightly more simple scents, but still very very nice scents. All right. Let's go and get started. Pass number one. This is with the grain. Third use on this blade. Two days of growth. The with the grain pass generally been pretty good. And by pretty good, I mean definitely taking the hair off. However, not, not a very pleasant feel to the shave. And it really does remind me of that new improved, I mean, a very similar, very similar feel. The head may be almost exactly the same or kind of in between the new improved and the, uh, the new short and new long comb. Very nice lather, by the way. Cream just makes for a very slick, easy lather. And right there is a bit of a red flag. You can feel a bit of kind of rough tugginess. Head design does make it very easy to get in under the nose. And even though there's a bit of an overhang, I've not caught myself with it yet. All right. Face has been wet. Let's just drip a bit of water onto the brush. Just so you can see how much lather there is there still. I'll hold it upside down so the water doesn't drip on my hand. I'm gonna pull this lather from the bottom up. Beautiful, beautiful shine to that. Yeah, like I said, you can make these brushes splay, but it definitely takes uh, a little bit of force to make them open up. There we go. 
Yeah, beautiful, beautiful lather from these creams. There we go. Ugh. Great soap, doesn't taste good. All right, pass number two. This is going to be across the grain. Now, the razor in the scheme of things is a little bit heavy. So you just gotta watch it in terms of the pressure. Frequent rinsing. Very, very nice slickness there. Again, bit of a red flag feeling right down under, a little bit uh, but irritable. Okay, mustache. Yeah, that soap is really doing very, very well. Really pleasant. All right, rinse off. And pass number three. Let's go for against. All right, I'm just pulling up again some of the soap that has moved down to the bottom of the brush. Or the knot, I should say. Plenty in there for a third pass. Certainly with as much as I accidentally loaded at the beginning there. <laughs> yeah, that just, uh, you know, that, that knot is just springy and really holds together. So it's very easy to sort of push it too far into the soap. There you go. You can see how nice that looks. Just apply that bit of extra lather. And once more, because of course, obviously some of that's gone back into the knot. That is very, very nice soap. I don't think there's any difference between the cream in the container and the cream in the pump container. Just that that pump makes it very easy to get out. You're not ever worried about putting a wet brush inside the soap or leaving it air dry. It's the right size for travel. Uh, and there's not a lot of other vendors that are producing a, uh, a package, uh, package like that. I think personally it's a great idea. All right, against the grain. Changing directions there a little bit to take care of the fact that the hair grows in a bit of a mix. Right there, not comfortable. This really reminds me of the new, the improved. And right here, against the grain, just not comfortable. Soap is helping a lot, but it can't really uh, rescue this part of it.
really just not comfortable. For me, I know people love this razor and for good reason. For me, it just doesn't work that well on that against the grain pass. It's really just not comfortable to use. Close shave, not a comfortable shave. So, now one thing about the soap that I do really appreciate, this is kind of a weird plus and minus for some of them. In the scheme of things, quite easy to rinse. And post shave, it is, at least for me, not drying. A lot of the soaps are rinsed off very quickly. They, they tend to fall on the drying side. Not in this case. Post shave is really quite nice. No real tightness in the skin, a little bit of layer of slickness, which I'll just rinse off a bit more. Yeah, the uh, that razor, certainly in that last uh, that last pass, not great for against the grain. Now what I could be doing is switching that with a second across the grain. I mean, if that was my only razor, that's what I'd end up doing probably. But for purposes of demonstration, I've stuck with the regular three pass shave. Now. Closeness, not going to argue with that. A very nice close shave. Close, but not comfortable. So for me, you know, it's, I would always choose comfort over closeness. That's, that's just me. I know that for some of you, the only shave is the completely epic BBS shave, but that always, always runs the risk of irritation, razor burn, nicks or cuts, next day redness, ingrown hairs. Not worth it to me. Okay, let's go for the post shave balm. This is the same um, same uh, scent scent profile from Elvato. This is the same uh, dispenser that you would get the shave cream in, and I think this size this is three point four ounces. So this actually I think is TSA approved. This this volume, a full squirt of this I think is a little too much for me. So I'm using about two thirds of a squirt. Rub it in my hands, and then apply again. Always in the direction of the growth. The cream is a little bit uh, a little bit thick as you can see. It is not runny or milky. This is a lot more towards uh, this is sort of my preference. It takes a moment to work in. Feels very nice and kind of slick on the face. Skin feels supple and really nicely hydrated. I like the scent. The scent is just a very clean, uh, simple scent, but very, very pleasant. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Now this is one of the uh, one of the bombs where I do always rinse my hands afterwards because it leaves a little bit of a uh, bit of a slick layer on the um, palm of my hand. There we go. Yeah, well, well, not a bad shave in the scheme of things. Close, yes. Comfortable, not so much. And that's entirely the razor's fault. That has nothing to do with the soap at all because the soap is fantastic. All right, let's go through the products again. I'm going to show you again. Well, that brush just went right down to the bottom there, to the bottom of the sea, as it were. The Elvato shaving cream. Today was the Pacific Coast Kahuna. Very, very nice vegan soap. Uh, a soft cream, as you can see, from my disastrous descent to the bottom of the tub. Very easy to lather. Very good slickness, good protection. I really like the post shave. It's easy to rinse and leaves a slightly slick layer. My skin, generally speaking, has felt pretty supple and well hydrated before the aftershave balm. Highly recommend those soaps. They are organic. They focus on um, sustainability. I think you should definitely check them out. I've been very, very pleased with those. Uh, let's do the brush next. The Carnivus and Richardson. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that. Hope you can see that again. There you go. Might be hard to see in the light, but beautiful aluminum handle with the uh, tuxedo knot in there. 
very easy to hold. I love the fact that it's a little chill in the air. You put it in the sink and it warms up right away. Easy to hold, small and light, and uh, very, very happy to have that added to the uh, to my collection. I'm very pleasant surprised to win that because normally speaking, I never win anything. So very happy that that happened and uh, wish those guys best of luck with their line of Maggard razors. The razor for today, which I will not disassemble again, but is this 1929 to 1931 Gillette Big Fellow Big Boy New Improved Hybrid. It's one of those. Uh, has clearly stood, physically stood the test of time. A simple, straightforward design, three-piece razor where the the thread that holds onto the top cap is this, is this uh, inside the handle insert. For me though, this is simply not a comfortable shave. The first pass is pretty good. The cross the grain has a few issues and then the against the grain pass for most of my face, just not comfortable. And this is very similar to the uh, impression that I had from the new improved. I, I love the vintage nature of that razor. That is 100% not the razor I would choose to use every day. But for the person who loaned it to me, thank you very much. And I really do appreciate the fact you keep cycling me through these razors. It's a great experience and I really do appreciate it. And then finally for today, let me put the cap back on. The same poche bomb. I've used this previously in some other formula, other scents. This is the same scent as the soap. Beautiful, simple cream, dense, not runny or liquidy or too milky. Goes on very easily. You just have to work it in a little bit. Um, I believe this includes aloe. It has shea butter and mango butter. It's got some grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil. Very, very nice product and I highly recommend it. I love the uh, I love the dispenser and I love the size. Just a great way to put this package together. All right, that's it. Look at me, I'm all done. Clean shaven once again on a Sunday. Well, thank you again so much for taking the time to watch these videos. I really do appreciate it. Of course, as always, you can leave a comment or question against this video or any previous video. Thanks again for watching and until next time, goodbye.